All right, here we're trying to figure out if an atom is in a ground or excited state. And a ground state just means what it sounds like as low as possible. So here's this first one, and to help with this, I'm going to sketch out the orbital diagram. So 1s comes first, 2s, 2p, and 3s. So this atom has 2 in the first, 1s2, 2s2, it has 2p6, and 3s1. So all of these electrons are as low as they can go. None of them can fit any lower in energy. And so this is known as the ground state because this electron, none of them can fall down. They're all full. So if all these spots are full from bottom to top, you're in the ground state. So look back on the electron configuration video if you're not sure of the order, but that's how that kind of goes. So here's this next one. So we sketch out this one. So again, 1s is first, followed by 2s. 2p, 3s, and 3p, and if I fill this in, 1s2, there's 2 there, and then 1s, there's 2 and 2s, and then in 2p I have a total of 5, and then I have 2 and 3s, and I have 1 and 3p. So in this situation, there's an open space here in 2p, so one of these electrons could fall down there, and so this is an excited state, because the electron is higher up than it should be. Uh, by the way, how do you figure out what element this is? Well, this ends in 3s1. This is going to be sodium because it ends in 3s1. Here, there's two ways to figure out what it is. One is you can count all these numbers, and if you add them up, that will tell you. So 2, 2, 5 is 9, 11, 12. So it has 12 electrons, so it's going to be magnesium. Or you can figure out the ground state and say, okay, what if these electrons fell back? So this electron's too high, it's going to fall back. So it's gone, so 3s2 is the outer one, 3s2 is magnesium here. So that's how you can do that. All right, so this last one I'm going to sketch out. All right, so again, if I draw this out, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d2, you notice I skipped over this whole 4s. So this is an excited state, and if we drop them back down where they should, it ends in 4s2, so 4s2 ends with calcium, so this is calcium. Alternatively, I could just add up the electrons here, so if I add up these exponents, if you will, I'll get 20, which matches the neutral calcium atom. So that is sort of how you look at ground and excited states. If it's out of order, it's in an excited state, otherwise it's pretty much in the ground state. So until next time, I'm Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.